Okay. In an ideal world, we would all have different passwords for all the websites and services that we use. They would all be unique and adequately complex. Best of yet, we would never forget them. But what if I told you you never had to use a password again? Well, I'm glad I asked because that's what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today are pass keys, not passwords, but pass keys. These are supposed to be different in that you will never need to know what they are and you'll be able to log into everything you need to securely. But before you go trying to use a passkey on all of your favorite websites and apps, there's one thing you need to know. Passkeys have to be coded for on the server side. So what that means, the next time you're going to log into Instagram, Facebook would have to have it enabled to where you could use a passkey to log into Instagram. This is all a part of what's called the FIDO Alliance, which is supposed to push for simpler authentication that most people can use. So far, this includes the bigger tech companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft. What this would mean is that each of these companies can allow it to where your personal device can be the password holder for anything you need to get into. So let's say you're on your phone and you need to log into something that you haven't logged into in a while. Well, you would go to log in by putting in your username, which could be auto-generated or like using autofill. Then the pass key option would come up. Your device would use some sort of metric, so like a fingerprint or a face ID or something of the sort in order to use a passkey, which is something that your phone keeps and uses. You don't have to do anything else. That's it, you're, you're in, you don't have to wait for a text, you don't have to suffer the peril of having bad service and not having an authentication text come through. Just works. So what do I think some of the advantages of this would be? Well, I think it would be incredibly fast for most people in most cases. The next and possibly the biggest advantage of this is these pass keys cannot be fished and that's because you don't know what they are so you can't actually give them away the idea is that this would work similar to how a password manager works right now so you have all these pass keys saved or passwords and the next time you go to log into something the autofill goes on and it just gets you right in your phone does all the work and all you have to do is sit there and wait to do whatever it is that you need to do. The way that this would be different is that right now a password manager has all your passwords locked up somewhere. And that's fine, most of the time that's very secure. The issue comes with all the people that you have passwords with. If they're similar, then that means if one of those companies has a data breach and you get your passwords leaked, then things start to get a lot more tricky for you and I'm sure you don't want to reset your password almost 200 times. And this is what makes passkeys different because your phone or device has a key that nobody else has, not even the place that you're trying to log into. So it can't really be stolen because it's on your device and it never leaves which might lead you to think well what happens if I have a computer and I need to log in there and it doesn't have the passkey holder right now the idea is that there will be a QR code on the screen and once your phone scans the QR code there's supposed to be a Bluetooth connection between the devices which says that you are the phone that's scanning the QR code and you have the passkey so basically it's supposed to be you and only you that have the QR code and are present to give the passkey. Additionally, these could be easily shareable because you could just transfer or give a passkey to another device and they have the passkey just as much as you do. This is easier than password sharing because there's no need for two-factor authentication where let's say you log into something and then the person whose password you're using has to give you the code to put in. It's just, that just seems like a mess. I do feel like passkeys are probably the future, as this is how password managers have been working for quite a while now. And I'd be willing to bet that the auto-generated passwords that a lot of people use probably haven't been memorized. So I would argue that we're basically using passkeys already, as your device probably generates a lot of passwords for you. The issue comes from a security aspect where the companies that have your passwords can still lose them and you can therefore have your account compromised. The passkey does take that one step forward and that's one pretty big step. So that could be a pretty big issue for people that want to have at least some control over where their passwords go. One other problem that I thought of is if you leave your phone at home 
and you go to school or work or something like that and need to log in, you can't basically, you can't just put in your password and get going. You have to have your phone to do the passkey or whichever device it is that you need to use. I guess you could argue that maybe at some point wearables will be able to do passkeys too, but for people who forget that too or don't have the I could still see that being a pretty big problem. That's not to say that these aren't issues that can be worked out. And I think this could be incredibly convenient for a lot of people. However, this would put an even stronger importance on people's mobile devices. So you better not lose your phone anytime soon. But those are just my thoughts. Leave me a comment to let me know what you think and be sure to check out my channel if you're interested in more videos.